There is so much cool tech at CES this year, starting with these TVs. LG created a fully transparent OLED TV that is also wireless, so you can literally put this 77 inch screen anywhere you want. And CC folding TV transforms from looking like a bench to a 137 inch screen, but at $200,000, it's ridiculously expensive. They also have a 165 inch screen and an outdoor 301 inch unfolding TV, which obviously are more expensive and can go up to $1.2 million. No surprise, this year's CES also had a lot of AI and robots, ranging from very cute Aww. to pretty scary, like Samsung's Bali, which basically works as a smart assistant on wheels. There's also Oro Dog Companion Robot that serves as a dog sitter that can dispense treats and even play fetch with your pet. Although I think Adam was my favorite, the robot barista that looks a little like Baymax from Break Hero 6, but instead of saving the world, he's serving you anything from boba tea to a whiskey shot. Oh, and let's not forget about this animated AI robot named Mirokai, which could help nurses handle logistics at hospitals as early as next year. Now let's talk about the cars. BMW unveiled remote control parking and in-car gaming. You heard that right, you can play Mario Kart on the car screen. Mercedes-Benz also showed off its new dashboard that's powered by AI and basically recreates your surroundings in real time on the screen. And the Vietnamese EV maker VinFast launched a pickup truck concept that it hopes can compete with Tesla's Cybertruck one day. It already looks prettier than Elon's truck, then again, anything looks prettier than Elon's truck. And speaking of pretty things, there was also an all-electric RV called the Pebble Flow that works as both a semi-autonomous vehicle and a next-generation smart home, which I would 100% travel in. And last but not least, we got a flying car. Chinese electric vehicle startup Xpeng showcased its modular flying car, which features a foldable flight system that lets the driver go back and forth between terrestrial and aerial modes. Now, a lot of this tech is still in the prototype phase and might never become actual products for any of us to buy. But that's the whole fun of CES, thinking about the future and what's in store for tech and innovation. What's your favorite product?